During the development of Halo Combat Evolved, Bungie realized they had created too good of a game, far too much fun. They had to remedy the situation for life isn't all fun in games. They designed a level with the sole purpose of preparing the player for the constant barrage of bullshit in their life. A mental wellness check called the library. But their definition of mental health awareness is what quote unquote good parents call tough love, resulting in being woefully unprepared for everything the stage throws at you. With no warning, a flood of responsibilities you must handle throws themselves at you, with the added option of just shooting your problems away. But just like in real life, sometimes those motherfuckers don't go down in one go because you miss the vital spots. A way of Bungie telling us that half-assed jobs will ruin us later on. Since we do not possess the tools nor the preparation required to mitigate those mistakes, we must obtain it, but that requires the sacrifice of mental stability and resources just to grab the shotgun, much like going to college will leave you broke and depressed. At the very least, a constant failure in this level while frustrating allows one to keep trying. In real life, failure will ruin your future, but don't give up please, because this floating bastard saying we're all in the same boats will proceed to call himself a genius and remark at how unfortunate your skill issue is. During this entire ordeal, you will only have brief moments of respite, leaving you with only your thoughts. Terrifying. But don't be scared of that. Nuclear war is much worse and so is the realization that those little tiny problems you've been mostly ignoring are starting to catch up. Those ugly popcorn bastards, are, the more you ignore them, the more they whittle down your mental fortitude. And will you really lose your life to a parasite that has caused you nothing but strife? Because you're so very close to making it. Just a little more and you'll reach the end, is what Bungie wants you to think, but in reality, this final stretch is a trick. You are not supposed to handle the issues here, for that will only lead to becoming overwhelmed. The penultimate teaching Bungie sought to convey here is that while ignoring problems is bad, if you ignore them hard enough and pretend they do not exist, they will cease to be. Just like I pretended my newborn child wasn't really mine, despite the DNA testing saying it is. And the final lesson is, your boss will take the credit and the reward, so next encounter make sure to blow up his house. Now that you are mentally prepared to deal with life, go outside and tell your mom Happy Mother's Day that she should subscribe to my channel and send me her number. You should also join my Discord server by the way.